Hello everyone, this is Krode giving you a shoutcast between Water vs Fiction. This is a Warcraft 3 game, Water spawning as the Night Elf player, as the Yellow Night Elf player here. Meanwhile, he is playing against Fanta Fiction spawning as the Green Undead. Yes, I was able to find an Undead vs Night Elf matchup for you guys. It was ranked pretty high, except... Um, there's some issues with the replays. I actually had to patch an older version and use an older version of Warcraft 3 in order to view the replay. Otherwise, the units just completely stood still. We see an Ancient of War, Altar of Elders, and Moonwell currently being placed down as this Tree of Life is now haunting or entangling this gold mine and trying to mine more gold. So I'm going to try to use a couple references to StarCraft 2. A lot of the players out there and a lot of viewers out there didn't really understand what was going on in Warcraft 3. So Warcraft 3 is a lot like Starcraft 2 in that it is a real-time strategy game. But there's a lot of different mechanics. One of the uh, one of the key mechanics that is different is the introduction of heroes. Heroes are basically the leaders of your army they grow up in level and they become stronger and stronger and then ultimately your heroes are the main backbone of your army with your actual army being as support and the two resources that are used in warcraft 3 is gold and lumber lumber is harvested um, with ghouls for the undead player so he's just currently trying to harvest some lumber over here meanwhile water over here is getting lumber by amusing these wisps just um, uh, harvesting or just walking around getting the, I guess the essence of lumber doesn't really cut him down it allows the wisp to get lumber anywhere he wants and now we see an archer quickly pulling away and this ancient of war is going to start creeping against these um, units over here as soon as that demon hunter comes out the demon hunter most likely wants to get the last hit and the last shot in order to make sure that the demon hunter gets the experience if that tree of war gets that last hit he will not get any of that experience the tree ancient of war excuse me ancient of war not tree of war the ancient of war is essentially the night of buildings that can also uproot and start attacking as well it is a spirit it is similar to zerg in that a wisp must be sacrificed and used in order to train up or build an ancient of war but it's really well worth it there as now the demon hunter is going to make its way across the map i'm gonna move this just a little bit so i can see what the items are as well so yeah someone made me a nice overlay hopefully and this will help you guys when you guys are watching and not get distracted by um, the replay timer. So the demon hunter now going after these null brutes over here. Meanwhile, we see the death knight. The death knight with an army of ghouls now coming in. These, this death knight and an army of ghouls. He does have a rod of necromancy and dust of appearance. The rod of necromancy takes any skeletons that are on the ground and makes... And, or takes any corpses on the ground and makes skeletons out of them, two of them. And those ghouls are also very, very effective as well. We also see that the Death Knight trained up Unholy Aura as his first ability. So that allows him to move much more quickly. And now the Death Knight going to go straight in for these um, for these units over here. Going after some of those archers. Archers are relatively low on hit points. So they take a lot of damage by these ghouls. You can see the Demon Hunter now trying to fight back against the Death Knight over here. Both sides battling it out. A very, very early ghoul rush as that demon hunter now trying to run away. The Ancient of War can also attack any units that are close to him as well. And that one low hit point ghoul being pulled away at the last moment. Archer is now trying to pull away as well. And now that demon hunter just, or the demon hunter trying to deal more damage against those skeletons. And now detonation ghouls are getting some damage onto the death, on, onto um, those wisp. And now the death knight getting some experience as well, going after another wisp. But the wisp is drinking the water from those moon wells getting that moon juice and able to regenerate hit points. So those are the farms for the Night Elf player, and they also allow healing on those units as well. Another archer getting some more juice over there, and now a ghoul. No, sorry, the demon are now trying to chase after a ghoul. It looks like that ghoul will get taken down and unable to sacrifice and take down this wisp over here, but this ghoul may come after it as well. Death Knight coming in as once again, trying to get as much damage as possible, and now just trying to go after those archers. The archers can shadow meld, but with the dust of appearance um, from the Death Knight of Fanta Fiction, he would be able to reveal those units really really easily and now going after those archers both sides battling back and forth the demon hunter has not used a mana burn yet he so far has tech the evasion but i do not know his second skill i do not believe he has teched it yet as he has, still has maximum mana on his units we see a ghoul now trying to fight off against an archer it looks like that ghoul will get taken down another ghoul may be able to focus down that archer no not going to battle it out as the main fight now back over here trying to destroy these moon wells the moon wells take reduced damage from the hero 25 to 35 
I'm not 100% sure what it is for Fortify, but now in comes that uh, what Demon Hunter once again with that Staff of Teleportation, transporting himself across the map. And now that Archer, however, is currently trapped and now no longer trapped as one ghoul. It has to leave its post, but another ghoul going to get taken down. So a level 2 Demon Hunter versus a level 1 Death Knight. And I forgot how fast sometimes these Warcraft 3 games are. So the Death Knight now trying to go after those lower hit point archers. And it looks like he's going to be able to block that. No, unable to get that one archer once again. Trying to run around. It looks like that one archer just drinking as much juice as possible. Trying to stay alive. And those um, skeletons finally able to take it down. And the Death Knight at 162 hit points will be able to escape the blades and the glaives of that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter still trying to give chase a couple of whistles are now going to start blocking the path and starting the path onto that Death Knight. That Death Knight getting entangled up behind those wisps and is it going to be able to get in front of it? No, it looks like because that Death Knight is walking around that far corner. Are we going to get the wisp? No, the wisp, the wisp now coming in over here as well. So the wisp is going to try to get in front of that Death Knight and it looks like he's going to be able to start pathing him in just a little bit more down to 40 hit points. Will he be able to get that last hit off? It doesn't look like it. A mana burn could possibly take it down. Why isn't he mana burning that Death Knight? I believe if he just mana trained up mana bird and oh, we're getting another wisp oh i'm getting the path once again and now down it goes so wow chasing halfway across the map finally able to take down that death knight so a very very a very nice death knight kill there using a wisp to trip up um trip him up and then getting the final hit off of that demon hunter i believe the demon hunter could have just used a mana burn to um, finish it off but he doesn't want to use that ability yet until he needs to we have a pandirian brewmaster in addition to that and um, death knight oh sorry the demon hunter the demon hunter both of them are really really strong melee heroes the pandirian brewmaster a very very strong melee hero as well who has breath of fire but now we have gargoyles in the air so this is a double i didn't even see this it is going to be double crypt gargoyles with a death knight so those gargoyles are going to now start harassing onto the main production building those ancient of lores take a lot of damage while they're being constructed they take additional damage from piercing from those gargoyles gargoyles are I, essentially mutilous in um, starcraft 2 except they have a better anti-air attack and now i'm just going to go simply after those wisps over there we can now see a fight now happening over here the demon hunter now very low on hit points does have um, does have a potion of greater mana and now that pandurian brewmaster is in trouble as well but i believe the pandurian brewmaster will be able to get home we can now see the gargoyles trying to focus down this last pandurian brewmaster over here a nice mana burn coming in and finally that mana burn shooing away that death knight death knight taking some damage and losing a lot of mana there so back into the game we can see gargoyles perhaps trying to fly around the outskirts of the map putting pressure onto these onto these wisps and those wisps are trying to harvest lumber not going to be able to now trying to fly away once again um, water having a difficult time trying to get any lumber seriously and now wisps are just being spread across the map continually trying to see if they can harvest lumber in peace and it doesn't look like it as the gargoyles are just all across the map as well and tr able to take down and deal damage towards those wisps back over here another group of gargoyles going to perhaps finish off this one low hit point wisp is it going to detonate in time yes it detonates denying the experience for that death knight the death knight now over here looking oh he now has a orb of corruption we are now at tier three from the death knight and now that orb of corruption will allow him to um, get additional damage also the orb of corruption reduces the armor of a unit by five I and mean, that may not sound like a lot if you are familiar with starcraft 2 but in warcraft 3 terms it is actually a percentage base so essentially a reduction in five armor means that they take 20 percent additional no, additional damage i believe 20 to 25 percent think of it like casting corruption with every hit from a corruptor now the we back have back over here the what the demon hunter trying to look out trying to see if he can catch perhaps the death knight trying to do something and now out moves the pandarian brewmaster pandarian brewmaster does have breath of fire which is very effective against those gargoyles is he going to get a breath of fire down on any of those units able to get a, a breath of fire onto some of them but not very many at all canceling that one building there as the pandarian brewmaster now trying to just um, stay next to those moon wells and trying to get as much uh, mana onto that one unit as possible. The Death Knight, now seeing that level one, you would think that because the Death Knight is at level one, that he is currently behind a level three Demon Hunter and a level one Pandirian Brewmaster. Um, but that is not the case. The items on that Death Knight are very strong, and his accompanying army is also very powerful as well. More Gargoyles now joining in on that fight. The Death Knight 
trying to get in a hit, unable to really do any serious damage. The Death Knight needs to get to level 2. If it does not get to level 2, he is not going to be able to really start casting Death Coil, which is the key ability that he really needs at this point. Now he will be able to get to level 2. There we go. And now going to perhaps start to be able to cast um, Death Coil onto that Demon Hunter and lose some of its mana as opposed to just getting it all mana burned off. This one Troll Berserker now taking additional damage as well. Couldn't see how much what the additional damage was. But that Demon Hunter now trying to run away. The Bandurian Brewmaster, on the other hand, currently trying to get to level 2. It is at level 2. Most likely will get Drunken Haze with, as a second ability. And that Drunken Haze is, oh, very nicely done by that Demon Hunter, or by the Death Knight. Death Knight oh, may be able to take down that, de oh, now using a Scroll of Town Portal. So at first, he used a Staff of Teleportation in order to try to teleport. But because he knew that the Demon Hunter would most likely die, he then used his Scroll of Town Portal. It is 350 minerals. 350 gold in order to buy a new one but he thought it would be worth it the demon hunter also has a moonstone will be able to use that and start to get turn it into nightfall allowing these moon wells to replenish the D or the death knight now down over here sitting at level three quickly getting back in into this game a level three death knight level two death coil level two death coil allows you to either heal an undead unit for two a uh, 400 hit points or deal 200 hit points to a live unit so very very nice ability coming in from this death knight death knight now just wandering around once again looking to and perhaps deal some more or do some more creeping he doesn't it doesn't look like he wants to creep it looks like he wants to actually um fight is he going to creep yes he is gonna actually gonna creep now so creeping out this ogre warrior camp over here the gargoyle is quickly just taking down multiple troll trappers there down it goes and now taking down that last troll trapper back over here there was one skeleton now keeping track and water has an army of Dryads, the Dryads, I'm not sure if they have that slow poison ability until they start attacking, but the slow poison does exactly what it sounds like. It slows down units and poisons them at the same time. The Death Knight, now with the Orb of Corruption and a Scroll of Healing, and may be able to come in and deal a lot of damage. That Scroll of Healing more of as, as a counter to tr um, against any Breath of Fire. Another Dryad getting taken down there. And now both sides, oh, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. We now have a Stone Form to try to stop that. And now that debuff is now gone. The drunk, the Pandurian Brewmaster wants to get off another cast as well. Unable to do so. And now we also see an Orb of Venom, I believe. Yeah, an Orb of Venom onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, oh, using a Staff of Preservation, saving that Demon Hunter. Able to teleport it back home with that Staff of Preservation. Now back over here, Gargoyle is once again trying to fight off against um, those Dryads. Both sides taking a lot of damage as both of them are unarmored. So they both take additional damage from Piercing. And now the Pandurian Mubaster, there's a nice scroll of healing being used. Um, healing up many of those Gargoyles. Once again, the Gargoyles are upgraded 1-1. One, one excuse me, 1-0, and now trying to run away once again. Yeah, the Dryads do have slow poison, and there is another Breath of Fire, and now the Gargoyle is perhaps trying to go after those Pandurian Brewmasters once more, and now perhaps going after some of those Dryads once again. Are we going to get a Death Coil? No, not enough mana for a Death Coil. And now a nice Staff of Preservation once again, but a Dryad going to get taken down in the process. Water taking a lot of losing a lot of units and giving a lot of experience to that death knight if that death knight gets to level five that will become really really bad and um, for the night elf player as the night elf player will not be able to deal with a level three death coil all too well level three death coils i believe almost instantly kill an archer um, I'm not 100% sure how much resistance damage that they get. And now, there you go. Also buying a potion of invulnerability, killing that pig just because it got in its way. Death Knight now still on the move, looking across the map, looking to see if he can gain any more experience. As you get higher and higher up in, 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 in level, it takes more and more um, creeps in order to um, level up. Also, as you get higher up, the, you, you take a percentage hit, so you get reduced experience from these creeps as well. I do not believe the Death Knight will get to level 5 unless he gets a Tome of Experience. It doesn't look like it dropped. It looked like it was a Tome of Agility plus 2, or perhaps a Tome of Strength. So yeah, just uh, taking down the rest of these units here, and we'll be able to clean them up. It, he should be shy f um, from level 5 by about 40 experience or so. The Wisps... On the other hand, now getting taken down by those ghouls or gargoyles. And the gargoyles may have given him enough experience to perhaps get to level 5 as the kills on the wisps still give full experience. There is a, a, now a tree of life down over here. And the death knight now, I believe, just shy of level 5. Yeah, just shy of level 5. Perhaps going to try to creep out the mercenary camp. And it looks like a new hero has joined in on the fight. A level 1 lich now joining in perhaps... 
going to cast Frost Armor. Frost Armor, a very nice ability, slowing down units and now giving the Orb of Corruption to the Lich. The Orb of Corruption on the Lich helps out tremendously as in the the uh, Lich is able to have a range attack and now also with the Gloves of Haste also able to, if that one Lich is able to attack different targets, give minus five armor to multiple units and now a shade following the demon hunter the demon hunter is still at level three and now the death knight at level five and the lich halfway to level two already things are looking good and promising but water now nearly completely setting up with this tree of life and you can also see water purposely leaving his dryads nearby just so that he can um, protect that from protect that expansion from those gargoyles back over here the lich should get to level two with relative ease Taking down this Renegade Wizard, a level 5 creep, a Ring of Regeneration has dropped. It gives 2 hit points a second for regeneration. You can see how fast it is there and how difficult it would be to try to take down that unit. Gargoyle, no sorry, Death Knight now at level 5. Lich currently sitting at level 2. A lot of Gargoyles in the air. They are only upgraded 1-0 at this time. And now dealing 19 to 25 damage per attack. Shade still following the rest of this army. The Dryads do not have any armor upgrades or any weapons upgrades. So the main damage is going to be from the Pandirian Brewmaster with his Breath of Fire. Level 2 Breath of Fire, very, very critical in this fight. And oh, the Obsidian Statue a little bit out of position there. And now getting a Frost Nova. And oh, the Demon Hunter a little bit of trouble. Staff of Preservation does save it. And now the Gargoyles may be able to just start poking and start picking apart some of those Dryads. Dryads now down to 124 hit points. A Staff of Teleportation coming back. And both sides trying to engage. Gargoyles going down and coming back up. And there's that Scroll of Town Portal on the Pandurian Brewmaster. Both sides trying to fight it out. The Death Knight getting a little bit of kills, but not too much. The Obsidian Statue, if you do not know what an Obsidian Statue is, think of it as a medevac on steroids. And it continually casts heal. It doesn't, it is not able to pick up units, but the Obsidian Statue is able to heal, I believe, up to six units at a time. Um, I need to read the tooltip, but I don't have it down here. But yeah, the Obsidian Statue does, is able to heal a lot of units at the same time. And now we also have Abominations. So Abominations, very, very strong meat units coming in from the Undead player. And very strong against those Dryads. Dryads, in general, cannot have a difficult time trying to focus down an Abomination since that Abomination can absorb so much damage. Back here, the Death Knight still sitting at level 5 as a level 5 hero cannot gain experience from creep is going to move out oh we saw a death pact there in order to get some additional mana on that lich and that lich is now going to try to creep out this creep camp here one of the larger creep camps on the map going after the gargantuan sea turtle sea turtle you can see it takes an additional negative six percent damage because of that minus five armor to a negative one the lich may get to almost four and he may just be a little bit shy or may just exactly get there we also have a talisman of evasion and now yeah lich uh, what 15 experience away from getting to level four so a level two death pack would allow him to get even more mana and also be able to sacrifice and um, sacrifice um, those units and get even more frost nova so that is going to be a problem um, hero nuking is going to be a problem level three death coil with a level two nova usually equals one dead hero or one dead hero if he is at half life the pandirian brewmaster has a decent amount of hit points the demon hunter though not so much only 725 as those gargoyles looking for a new target and an orb of venom attack allowing that blade master to fight and now in comes this fight and oh there we go there potion of healing and now we uh, i believe lost that one statue over there both sides continuing to fight level four on the lich now are we going to get a surround oh the potion of invulnerability being used and now another mana burn onto the lich and now going into stone form back up into the air staff of preservation saving it but the pandurian brewmaster may have to use the scroll town portal one more time very low on hit points there we go finally using it and now picking off even more of those units once again the pandurian brewmaster down to 51 hit points was able to escape three abominations now and wow fiction having a decent size army 59 over 70 so he is currently getting taxed on his gold same thing with water water also getting taxed on his gold as well and now his expansion is also getting hit as well so double of these ghoul or abominations are now trying to come in trying to get some damage we have this obsidian statue just casting heal across multiple units able to heal the abominations and all those units at the same time and now the abomination trying to come in it is getting slowed down and the dryads pulling away and to turn around and attack drunken haze breath of fire but stone form and now back up into the air to reset the that damage and now one abomination down to 200 hit points another frost nova and wow the oh demon hunter once again staff of preservation 
and somehow Water is still able to stay in this game. Water has been doing a good job just keeping his heroes alive throughout this match. And now, um, what Water now will finally be perhaps able to take down one Gargoyle at least, but I believe the, in, the Tree of Life will get taken down. Yeah, Tree of Life now taken down over here, now to 11 hit points. Another Drunken Haze back up into the air. The Tree of Life is at 11 hit points. One more attack from the Abomination takes it down, and down it goes. So things are not looking good at all for Water. Fiction has a couple of Dryads. A lot of them are low on hit points. There was also the Disease Cloud around them, making it very difficult um, very difficult for those dryads to stay alive. However, a, a dryad cannot die or units cannot die from poison damage over time. We now have bears joining in on this army and the bears getting a rejuvenation. Quickly dropping the um, pure apt of vitality, getting a regeneration and then going to pick it up at that last moment. It is and because of... Actually, I can explain the math later, but um, yeah, it's, just think of it as a percentage. You regenerate 300 hit points and then you... By picking up that pair up of vitality, you still stay at 80% hit points, so you additionally heal yourself even further. The Lich, now sitting at level 4, will not get to level 5, if it, even if it creeps out this creep camp here. It is not close enough, but it will be able to get some nice items. So now going after those Gigantuan Sea Turtles, the Lich getting some damage, trying to focus down more units of Death Knight, purposely staying away. By having the Death Knight stay away, the Death Knight does not take any of those take any of the experience from that Lich as the experience would be divvied up between the two heroes and then because the Death Knight can't gain any experience would be lost. So that Lich now sitting at level 4 also has a scroll of healing as well. We may see a Death Coil on the, yeah there we go, onto the Lich healing it back up to full hit points once again and I believe it is just a matter of time before Fiction moves out. We can see an Acolyte laying in wait, ready to summon and haunt another gold mine here in order to get more, more gold as we are almost out of gold at the main base. Another minute or, or two minutes or so and the main bases will be mined out. The Dryads and the, uh, the Dryads, the Pandurian Brewmaster and the Demon Hunter looking for more experience by cleaning up some of the creeps will not be able to. And now the bears are in this fight. So bears now battling it out. And we also have destroyers as well. So the destroyers are going to be able to deal some damage and significant damage. But it is going to get taken down perhaps by those dryads. Gargoyles in the air trying to fight back. But those breath of fire not hitting their targets. Both sides battling it out. And now down goes. No, both sides are just taking a lot of damage back and forth. Dryads, a lot of counter units. It, it will probably just depend on hero levels. Which Fiction does have a superior advantage at right now. And now multiple bears. Oh, it's continuing to be Staff of Preservation. And now Abominations are finally getting taken down. Demon Hunter at level 3 is very low on hit points. And now make it to level 4. Level 4 on the Pandurian Brewmaster. And he does have a potion of a, a Scroll of Town Portal. So he may be able to save himself. Is he going to perhaps try to use that Scroll of Town Portal and save himself? Let's turn around. Getting a Breath of Fire off onto those Gargoyles. And now trying to run away once more. There's the Scroll of Town Portal. The Dryad should be trying to run away. Maybe they will live to fight another day. And oh, barely able to survive just barely avoiding um, the attack of those gargoyles. So a lot of damage has been dealt to those um, dryads though. Dryads are low on hit points and the army size of water down to 35 food over 70. Fiction having a large amount of uh, having a large food army 64 over 70 and now attempting to haunt this gold mine on the bottom right hand side of the map. I believe Fiction will be able to take this game. It is just a matter of time. Hero levels, economy, and army size all are in favor of Fiction. So Fiction should be able to finish this off back over here. And where is this Lich? The Lich is already at level 5. He cannot get any additional experience at this time. The creeps are just going to give some um, gold to the armies, allowing for the additional training of units. And Fiction, as long as he waits, as long as he doesn't overextend himself, gets perhaps one to two statues, you know, obsidian statues, and is able to heal up this army, should be able to attack and go for the win. Water currently does not have a gold mine up and running. He is not mining any gold at all. He is now down to 618 gold, trying to train up more. And now you see that Tree of Eternity is going to get up and walk and make its way down to this expansion over here and try to re-entangle this gold mine. Back in the bay or back at the natural expansion of fiction, fiction now setting up a ziggurat 
perhaps perhaps with one to two cold towers and with those cold towers and Nerubian towers will be able to defend this place quite easily there is no necropolis though so without a necropolis he will not be able to teleport and save this expansion all too easily you can see fiction now upgrading to a nerubian tower he is sitting on a um, what 80 gold so far and at 70 69 over 80 food so he still has a little bit of room breathing room before he hits high upkeep normally um, players never go into high upkeep a shade is now spotting this tree of eternity trying to make the long walk to the south side of that base and it's very very smart move by fiction here just waiting for this tree of eternity to come down a little bit too far before his abominations now come in the abominations are now in play and they quickly see that this tree of eternity the tree of eternity now trying to fight back but you can see how much damage that this tree of eternity is just absorbing from those gargoyles from those destroyers and now down it goes so we have what five abominations and now it's just going to be pressure into the main base one last time we do have a lot of bears though so this is going to be a holdout 51 food army with a lot of bears and a couple of moon wells and those moon wells may be the tipping point we'll see if it will be able to do that much at all we also have a couple of wisps those wisps can detonate and deny mana onto both the heroes and also the obsidian or those um, those obsidian statues which are no longer in play in comes the bear mana burn this is going to be the final fight bears are getting taken down a nice staff of preservation saving it now going after the demon hunter demon hunter still at level three pandiria boommaster sitting at, sitting at level four both sides trying to fight are they going to save a bear no no bear and now that death knight sitting at level six will have his ultimate ability gargoyles going back into that ground mode scroll of protection and now level four and the demon her both sides are still fighting back and forth but there's the gg coming in from water so water losing to fiction here on echo isle and um, i'll go ahead and let, let you look at the final scores and fiction pretty much had control of the game most of the time Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Fanta Fiction and Water here on Echo Isle.